Hello and welcome to another episode of If You Were There. Today I have a letter written by Henry A. Griesbeck, a soldier of the 33rd Infantry Division, 129th Regiment. He wrote this letter on December 1st to his mom, who lived back in Waterton, Wisconsin. Dear Mother, received your registered letter and was sure glad to hear that you are all well. I am feeling fine. I also received mail from Anna and Tilly. I am back with the company again was at school for two weeks. We are now picking up equipment left by the soldiers in the fields and woods. Don't expect to stay here very long. Expect to go back to the coast soon. I don't think it will be very long before we go back to the US. I was at the front the day the gun stopped firing. We went over the top that morning and was in a shell hole for two hours. Could not get out for machine gun fire and shell fire. Did not expect to get out so lucky. I talked to lots of Germans that day. They sure are happy that it is due and done. We'll have to close for this time. Have lots of things to tell you when I get back. Hoping to get home soon. With regards and love to all, your son, Henry. P.S. I received them flowers some time ago. As Henry A. Griesbeck described, on his last day of the war, his battalion and regiment was ordered over the top in an attack. They met heavy resistance from machine gun nests and shell fire. And on that day, 20 of this battalion went missing in action. Four were killed in action and two were wounded in action. Uh, they were trying to control terrain between two towns, Chateau de Alois and uh, Marcheville. Um, the news of the armistice arrived at 9 a.m., but it wasn't, the attack was not actually called off until 9.45. An interesting part of this letter is that all the, the Germans that he talked to after the war ended all seemed very happy. And it shows that people from all around had wanted the war to come to an end, of course, and that they weren't just uh, people, they were more than just the barbarians they thought they had been fighting and actual people that wanted the war to end. Um, I've got 68 more letters from Henry A. Griesbeck to make videos on uh, and to read to you all. So like and subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Thank you for watching.